In other words, Holloway's novel suggests that the most alarming dystopias are not the ones that we watch on our screens or read in our books, but can instead be found in the everyday practices of the 21st century. Thank you. Hello, future Liam here. You are probably sat there thinking, what on earth is Liam doing? Like, what on earth have I clicked onto in this video? Well, let's find out. about six maybe even seven hours later and I'm in formal get up it's all very hilly here but um where is here I guess we should let my friend Reese explain Reese where are we this is my good friend Reese. he is a fellow English Lit PhD student with me at the University of Birmingham but he researches on the author HP Lovecraft now, Reese and I both happened to uh, apply to present at the same conference, and we were both fortunate enough to be accepted to present at it. So, uh, yeah, you'll be seeing quite a bit of him in this video. We're in Falmouth! And why baby? are we in Falmouth, baby? We are here for the Dark Economies Conference, oh yeah! <laughs> we are indeed here for the Dark Economies Conference. Uh, it's on various things, all gothic -y and dystopia e. And uh, Reese and I are presenting separate papers on the same panel in about 20 minutes. So, Reese, we need to get our skates on, boy. Let's do this. Look at that. I'm presenting my paper. Now, I'm not going to be including the paper in full in this video just for a few different reasons. The first being it is like 20 minutes long, and that is you know, quite long, so I'm not going to include that. Secondly, as you can probably see, the lighting is not particularly great there in the uh, lecture theatre where I am presenting and also the, uh, the audio quality is really bad too, it's quite echoey and just uh, not altogether very clear. Third reason, my camera died twice whilst recording that, so there's a few gaps and sort of you see right at the very end that uh, Reese had to sort of record me in a completely different position off of, I think, uh, my phone or his phone. Uh, so yeah, another reason why we're not doing it. Fourth reason as well is actually that uh, I do explain what the paper's about uh, later on in the video, you know, in case you are interested, very quickly at least. And then the final reason is that since, in sort of the few months since uh, the conference has happened, I've had a pretty cool opportunity whereby uh, a version of this paper might actually be getting published. So uh, yeah, maybe you'll have to read it for yourself at some point in the future. Okay, so it's the morning after the night before and I'm currently just wandering around Falmouth's incredibly leafy campus. It, it actually feels a bit like I'm in Jurassic Park or something. It's just so, I don't know, sublime and gorgeous and, and natural here. Um, yesterday was a bit of a day. Obviously, as you've just seen, uh, I presented my paper, which was entitled Reading Hybridity. Uh, metafiction dystopia and Wayne Holloway's Bindlestiff, so I was talking about a particular novel and how it's metafictional and dystopian. Um, now what we didn't say yesterday was that Reese and I were in quite a rush walking up that really massive hill because our train had some issues, so our original train got kind of, um, well, not delayed even, just stopped. It stopped like half through our journey, which was a nightmare, and then we had to quickly rush to change trains and then we didn't know if we were going to make it on time because our train sort of getting into Falmouth was very close to us meant to be presenting so that was a bit of a rush and that's why we were sort of power walking up that hill yesterday you know incredibly out of breath um, my paper went all right I think it went about as well as it could have done um, you know I presented it sort of okay 
read my paper out loud, you know, got a round of applause, things like that. So went all right. Um, I think if there are any problems really, it might have been in the actual like writing of the paper itself. So might have presented something a bit rubbish, but like done a good presentation of something a bit rubbish. Maybe um, I could also just be being quite uh, you know, modest and self-deprecating as per usual. Um, so yeah, just currently roaming around Falmouth. Reese has uh, attended another panel quickly because there's sort of people doing presentation or presentations all day today, and there'll be more tomorrow as well. But um, yeah, just a quick update. We'll try to uh, catch up with Reese at some point as well and see how he thought his paper went too. But um, yeah, all in all, nice start to the conference. Kind of weird to have like literally been the first person to present at the conference more or less it means like I'm now kind of twiddling my thumbs for the rest of it but that's quite nice it means all the pressure stuff is out of the way and now I can just sort of sit back relax enjoy myself meet new people you know listen to interesting papers and so on so actually although a bit stressful in the first instance quite nice in the end seagulls I haven't had seagulls for a long time being in Birmingham obviously but yeah, nice to get back to my my West Country roots. Anyway, that is a quick little update from me. Hopefully, we'll catch up with Reese in a bit. And uh, yeah, let's see what the lights Falmouth has in store for the rest of the day. Here I am with the uh, elusive man himself. It is actually the day after the last bit of uh, recording. You saw. So uh, here I am with my esteemed colleague. Reese James Jenkins. Howdy. So, uh, Reese, first question from me to you is How did you think your paper went in the panel we were on? Yeah, I think it went as good as I could have hoped. Yeah. Um, pretty pleased with how it did. Uh, put a bit of energy into it, you know, even though I was exhausted that day with yeah. like two hours of sleep. Yeah, and the train journey that we had as well. God, that was horrendous, right? That was not fun. That was not the fun. No. Um, but yeah, no, I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, okay, folks, well, in fact, Reese can get, get behind me, you see, you're taller than me, so. Um, yeah, but come on, give us some perspective here. Uh, and what's been your highlight of the conference thus far? Like, like either the best thing you've seen, or just like the best moment, or whatever? Do you know what, Liam? Definitely your paper. <laughs> oh, 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 I haven't even paid him to say that. And, uh, and <laughs> well, I've paid you to come down, it to be fair, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, so what, why was my paper the highlight? Oh what? no, honestly, it's like you're so energetic whenever you give your papers. Like, you oh, always, yeah, it, it didn't feel like 20 minutes. It literally felt like like an, like an hour. I know, like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just went on and on. <laughs> no, oh. seriously, it was, it was a solid paper, mate. Oh, thank you, that. Bless you. Let, bless your cotton socks. Didn't have to say that. Oh, uh, sorry. And and we had the heavy metal disco. <laughs> that was that was the highlight. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. <laughs> It is now Saturday morning. I am soon to leave Falmouth to uh, head back to where I'm heading back to. Reese, are there any closing remarks from you? Wear your seatbelts, kids. Wear your seatbelts. That has been some wisdom, some parting wisdom from the one, the only, Reese James Jenkins. All right, so I'm at the train station and uh, I've got a few minutes till my train. I've been to think, just sort of, uh, you know, try and figure out what it is that I've ultimately learned or gained from coming to this conference down in, well, no longer particularly sunny Falmouth. It's quite uh, grey and overcast today and uh, probably threatening to rain at any point. I have no, uh, no coat with me, so that's going to be pretty bad. Um, I'm thinking about it. There's been a few things I have learned. Um, firstly, the most interesting papers that I attended were actually the ones that I had the least knowledge of or the least sort of expertise in. Like I attended quite a lot of papers to do with dystopias and they were great, they really were great. Um, but there were papers to do with stuff as sort of far flung and removed from my research as like the figure of the golem in literature and, and sort of werewolves and, and folklore and folk horror and stuff like that. Stuff I hadn't really been exposed to before. So I guess from there, first of all, I guess uh, I've learnt that 
I should continue to expose myself to new and almost random material just because uh, there might be various interesting things that I might discover that could maybe strike a chord with my own research or if not directly maybe in the, the patterns of thinking, the methods of thinking and maybe I can apply those to my research instead. But the, the big thing actually, I like to do things in threes normally but I've only got two real big takeaways here. I guess we've got three if we include Reese's comment about, uh, about seatbelts. Um, my other big takeaway I guess is actually that like, bear in mind, this has been the first in-person conference I've been able to attend, obviously with the pandemic and all that, and and there were still people attending online, it was like a mixed mixed platform sort of thing. So I've met a bunch of, you know, new academics, new PhD students, etc. And I've just been sort of really reassured by the kindness and decency of those people. You know, there's been people who I've met this weekend who, you know, I'm sure I'll be keeping in touch with people who you know, well, let me, let me, you know, let me buy that meal, or let me, let me buy that drink, etc. Just people who are really decent and kind and good. And thanks for the traffic announcement there, Falmouth Station, ruining my recording. Um, but yeah, basically what I'm getting at is that um, the people I've met have been really decent, really good people, and I'm just quite happy about that, quite thankful, quite appreciative. So, yes, expose myself to seemingly random sort of academic studies just to see if it's interesting or, or how it might help me with my own studies but also I've just been very very reassured um, that academia is full of lots of really decent people and and that you know despite the difficulties of the last 18 months or whatever plus really um, that it's still possible to make meaningful human contacts and and connections and yeah like my social skills aren't completely stunted and, uh, and on that note I think it's probably time to close off the narration elements of this vlog.